In the case where alternative warnings are in place where the borrower may have used an alternative number, we will want an explanation. In many cases, the names are so common that there may be other individuals with similar social security numbers. There will be a necessity of providing a letter of explanation from the borrower with regards to uh, this alternative social security number. So the credit report is going to be looked at closely with regards to multiple numbers, social security ITIN numbers associated with the borrower. Uh, our fraud guard is going to be associated with uh, the uh, ITIN number verification. We're going to be very careful that our borrower has been uh, reporting everything using the correct ITIN number, and that is going to be a key point in this program. In cases where you do have borrowers that have uh, multiple ITINs, multiple social security numbers associated with the borrower, that could pose a problem as far as uh, approvability of the loan. Those are some key elements to be aware of. The debt ratio on this program is 40, the max DTI is 43. You can look at page five of eight. I don't need to get into all the details of what a full documentation loan is, but the income documentation is very standard uh, as it would be for a normal full doc loan outside of ITIN. The details are outlined on page five of eight under the income documentation. Much like our other programs, this loan is, um, is a non-QM loan, so max points and fees are 5%. I do also want to point out some LTV loan amount and reserve requirements. Uh, you can go up to 90%, again, above 75% requiring a 620 FICO score and traditional credit reporting. Uh, you can go to 90% up to 300,000. You can go up to 80% to 400,000, 70% to 500,000, and 60% to 600,000. I do want to mention that uh, anything over 80% will require six months reserves. Anything less than 80% will require three months reserves. And as you may expect, it's going to require the traditional seasoning of funds. So two months seasoning of funds are going to be required for reserves and down payments. So the idea that the borrower may have mattress money for reserves or money, money is just popping into the account as part of the purchase transaction could, could pose a potential problem. With regards to some of the other credit requirements, uh, there are some limitations under the credit tab on page four of eight regarding consumer debt and max one times 30 on non-mortgage debt. So there are some limitations there for you to look at. Um, with regards to bankruptcies and so on and so forth, you'll find that on page four of eight and to read that directly from the guidelines, Chapter 711 must be discharged for at least 36 months from closing date. So obviously, we're looking at borrowers that have been um, having good credit for the last three years. Uh, we do allow uh, gift funds for the transaction, but 10% has to come from the borrower, and you'll find that on, page, on the top of page 6 of 8 as well. Um, Non-occupant co-borrowers are not allowed, so we're not looking for individuals that have family members that live somewhere else that want to help them qualify for the loan. That's not going to work. Uh, there is no prepayment penalty on this loan, as this loan is only available for owner-occupied transactions. It's also important to realize, as identified on page one, that no second homes no investment properties, and no cash out allowed on this program. This is strictly meant as a purchase and written term transaction uh, for um, ITIN undocumented borrowers only. So it does not have the kind of flexibility you will find in other programs that we offer. Uh, I think that pretty much summarizes uh, the program requirements. It's important to understand that uh, we are going to be looking at this loan just like a regular full doc loan. So all the traditional documentation that would be required on a full document loan for a W-2 borrower are going to be requested, pay stubs and W-2s, and all of this is going to be verified. Verification of employment needs to be done. 
4506 will be executed. So we're looking at this effectively as a regular full doc loan for a borrower that may not have uh, deep or much credit or any credit, but for all intents and purposes, it is a full doc loan. We will verify the income and any inconsistencies would mean the loan would be declined. So it's important to understand that. And it's important to understand that the uh, DTI max is 43% on this transaction. Uh, one last note, uh, this program is available on single family, PUDs, townhomes, and warrantable condos only. No two to four unit Prop, uh, properties and no, not allowed uh, non-warrantable condos. So there are some limitations to be aware of. You can find the property types listed on page seven of eight on the guidelines. With that being said, um, I'm going to conclude this call. If you have any other questions or issues regarding this program, please feel free to email me directly and I'm happy to answer them. Thank